you can see these two different models one has a curved corner and one has a sharper corner just because of the small difference in design the topology is difference the density of the geometry is difference and because of that the modeling process is also different from a certain step so we need to understand that with the same modeling method we can create different variation in design as well as in the density of the geometry hence create your model as per the need that is very important so without further ado let's get started to create model you need to add a plane then scale this plane along the x axis the process is similar to the last video if you didn't watch that then please watch it then just move this edge along the x axis then add a center loop cut then add a center loop cut along the x axis and add a bevel on it we are going to use the same steps just small differences there then give the right bevel width and then you need to add two loop cuts from both the side then select all the faces and extrude them along the z axis now just add center loop cut then select these faces and then delete them then select these edge loops and then right click bridge edge loop after that just add a center loop cut like this then select these faces and then delete them then select this edge and then press f to fill the gap then select this corner edges and add a control b and add a small bevel give the right bevel width 1 and then press m and merge by distance Now we got a basic mesh at there. Just select its side faces and then delete them. Now you need to select the sharper edges. So just go to the select sharper edge and select some sharper edges manually. After selecting the proper edges, just go to the object mode, apply scale, and then come back to the edit mode and then Control B and add a small bevel. Shape factor should be one and give the right bevel width. so you can add those support to loop cuts to maintain the form of the model then hit the control 2 to add the subdi modifier and you can see we are getting the smooth design at there add some loop cuts for good topology then set the origin to the geometry then you need to add the array modifier and give the right factor in the array modifier along the x axis to join these two parts together if you know the process then you can skip it After that just increase the array count up to 4. Then you need to add the simple deform modifier. Choose the bend. Then rotate this model into the 90 degree along the y axis. Then you need to add one empty, then select that empty in the simple deform modifier origin option. You can play with the different axes and here you need to choose the bending axis z. then give the bending angle 400 or 405 just to join this both end now you can see we are getting this smooth shading because here you need to understand the subdi modifier is at the top and if i take the subdi modifier at the bottom we will face this kind of issues we will get the sharper edges not the curved cylindrical form so this is the very important thing you need to understand if we want a less geometry on the model then we need to sacrifice with the details of the model here i have just turned off the array modifier and simple deform modifier and now just play with the topology a little bit for that you need to select this edges and just control x to dissolve this edges and then you need to select the center edge you can turn on your extreme mode then you can move this edge along the z axis as like this and then you can get this kind of curve form you can see it looks really well simple and easy then just turn on the array modifier and simple deform modifier but still we are facing little bit of difficulty here we need to resolve that one edge also so for that uh, go to the edit mode and here you need to select these words and right click connect vertex path and then you can dissolve this edge in this way here we have changed the topology a little bit we have created the loop structure around that boolean design in this way and now you can turn on the array modifier and simple deform modifier and now you can see it looks really well we are getting that right cylindrical form then apply this array modifier and simple deform modifier and then just go to the edit mode select everything and then press m and merge by distance so double words will get merged 
In this way, we will get that cylindrical design. You can see it still looks really well. Just add some details on it if you want to add. And now let's go to the first design where we want a sharper corner. And here you can see if you take the subdivision modifier at the bottom, we will get this kind of harder edges. To avoid that, you need to add one more subdivision modifier and take the subdivision modifier at the top. And then you can see the results because of that. We are getting smooth shading. If you switch on or off that subdivision modifier, then you can see the difference. In the first subdivision modifier, I will give the subdivision count 1 and the second subdivision modifier, I will give the subdivision count 2. So I can reduce the topology a little bit as well as I will be able to maintain the form of the model with a good shading. And then you can apply first subdivision modifier, add a modifier and simple deform modifier. And then go to the edit mode, select everything and then press M and merge by distance. The double words will get merged. And you can see I'm getting simple and decent looking design with a little bit more topology and it looks really well. So here you can see, so now you can understand the difference in these two modeling steps. Modeling the same kind of design with a little bit of different variation. Now you can see why did I explain all that stuff at the beginning of the video. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.